first thing I'm going in with is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Just to give um, like an all over radiance under the skin and also I feel like this makes my foundation sit on top really nicely and you don't lose the like luminous look your skin has when you put foundation on top of it. Then I'm going to use NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Put that all over my face. And then for concealer, I'm going in with two concealers. First, I'm going in with Instant Age Erase Eye, which I always use. On top of that, for just like extra coverage and for dark circles, I'm using a collection concealer which is super cheap and it's called Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear. Why is it impossible to look up and not open your mouth when you're doing concealer? Like, I just naturally do it, <laughs> I can't help it. See? Um, so next I'm going in with the collection concealer and I'm just gonna place that like right in the corners. It's just a bit lighter. To set under my eye I'm using the number seven um, perfect light translucent powder. Like what I haven't pressed in I just brush away like so next thing I'm going to do is contouring and um, for that I'm going to use um, out of the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Glow Mo palette I think that's what we call it Beauty Glow palette, instant looking palette. Um, I'm gonna take the uh, contour shade. And I need a little extra help. I'm just going to use the powder um, under my contour to straighten up the line. And just set it for a little bit of her. I'm just going to assess the picture of her again because you know she just looks. Oh. Okay, so her things are like really strong. That's great. A nice sneaky eye. I'm just trying to pretend that I can be like her for a second, but that's just not. That's not possible. The next thing is, she's got like a really nice like pop of um, colour on her cheeks. I'm actually going to use again um, the Charlotte Tilbury uh, palette and I'm going to use, I mean, I'm going to do both but mostly this colour is what's going to be the, the main event. So I'm going to copy what Charlotte Tilbury says to do I'm going to swirl the top colour on my cheeks. Like so. Okay, and then pop of colour on the cheeks. Then I just take a beauty blender and kind of like soften everything out so that it looks like it's actually me. And I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera quickly and then I'll be back to do the eyes. Okay, so my eyebrows are done. Um, she's got I've obviously got really defined brows this is just like inspired by her but um she's got kind of like the natural bushy brow and I ever plucked my eyebrows when I was 14 so this is what I'm working with right so now I'm moving on to the eyes I've already popped some concealer on my eyes and um, to act as like a base and I just popped some of that translucent powder like over the top and then we can work with our eyeshadow on top of that. 
I'm going to go Makeup Revolution palette and this one is called I Heart Chocolate and it just looks like this. I'm going to take this one. Just because it's um, a brown, I like doing like an orange transition so that it's not too heavy, like heavy looking. So I'm going to take this colour here from the Chanexo palette and I'm just going to work that in the crease as my transition colour. Okay, so now I'm going to start deepening up the crease and I'm going to take this Makeup Revolution palette, which is called Salted Caramel, kind of similar to the other one. I've used it a lot, sorry about the way it looks. <laughs> um, these are like dupes for uh, Too Faced. They have a similar sort of like layout and the colours, but they're drugstore and they're so good. Like they're so good, that's all I use. So. Um, I'm gonna like start deepening up the crease and I'm gonna use this shade here. And I'm gonna focus it on the outer edge of my eye. Run it through the crease. I'm so sorry. <laughs> to intensify the outer edge a lot more, I'm going to build it up and I'm going to use this black colour from the Salted Caramel palette and just tap off the excess because you don't want to put too much on. I'm only taking it on the outer part to really emphasise the shape. And then I'm just going to blend it back with that brush that I had the orange on. To make it all seamlessly blend. So we're going to go in with a nice golden shimmery sort of colour. And I'm going to go for this one in the salted caramel palette. And I'm going to wet my brush because I think it will work better wet. <laughs> yes, it's right. I don't know if you can see it, but I was right. <laughs> Okay, so off camera I just did um, some eyeliner on the like tight line and then copied underneath. I did orange and brown and then a little bit of black on the edges, not all the way under my eye on the lower lash line but to the middle and then put on some mascara. What I'm going to do is finish off, I'm going to do my highlighter because she looks glowy AF and then I'm going to finish off um, the inner corner with some highlighter as well because I think that will work really well here. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette. I'm trying to, oh, there you go. Trying to catch the holographic. <laughs> For my inner third of my eye and the inner corner, I'm going to go in with Azores. And then I'm going to put it in the inner corners to finish off. I might just use my finger. Oh, yes. Okay, so now I'm going to follow the steps of this palette. First, you take Capri. And you just dab that as a base. So this is like an amazing highlight on its own, but you do like the three steps and you get this like transformation and Ashley Graham has a transformation. So... Then you take Santorini and you dab it over that to set, I mean, oh, it's incredible. Just 
sweep it up to the temple. Look at that. Oh, it's powerful. It's powerful. And then you take Azores and you sweep under that. And it gives this 3D sort of, it's not a contour, but it's a darker to kind of like bring out Santorini on top of it. And then you take Ibiza as a sort of pinky blush and I sweep that like between where I put, oh, you just get that front, yes. Literally looks like you've swept your face in highlighter. It's great. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to repeat that on the other side. And then whatever I've got left on my brush afterwards, I just, I'm going to sweep down my nose. And I cue his eye. Here is the final look. Um, I'll insert a picture of what I was going for, but um, my camera is being really crap and I just basically finished off by putting just Vaseline on my lips because she's going for like a glossy, I can't stand lip gloss on my lips. So I just went for lip gloss and it kind of works, it kind of fits with the theme of like dewy anyway. Um, but really intense highlight and a smoky eye. And I've tried to look like Ashley Graham in that picture. So um, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned on my channel for another video. And I'll post more than once a month, I promise. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay, maybe that was too much because I look like Pennywise from It. I'm just going to do my cameras. I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera quickly and then I'll be back. Are you filming still? I mean, I can't see, I've got the stigmatism.